some kind of a big deal. Let's step away just for a second from the inexpensive to the kind of luxurious high-end brand, a house that I'm not super familiar with. I have a few from the, you know, maybe the, the rookie line, but this is my first from the luxurious, sexy, big dog line. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to this fragrance because I got it from the plug and I'm happy as fuck I did. Sexy motherfucker. <laughs> Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. This is by the house of Gerlon or Gerlane or however the fuck you want to pronounce it. That's how it is. Now, this one is not an inexpensive fragrance at all. This was definitely over the $200 mark, but is definitely luxury in a bottle. Not super familiar with this line. I can't tell you too much about it. I mean, do I really tell you much about anything nowadays? This was absolutely a blind buy and this was absolutely love at first sniff. The fragrance is by the house of Guerlain and it's none other than Bois D'Armini. D'Armini. D'Armini? I can't pronounce this shit, but it's pretty. I know it's probably hard to see the name, but look at the presentation that this shit came in. Beautiful leather box. Look at the presentation, little coffin and shit it came in. So the bottle sits up in this piece like that. Hold on. Bang, because I will drop this shit. Bang, keep that shit on decky like that. And you stay and you just have it. I've worn this fragrance four times already. I have it sprayed on the Cuba test strip. And it is beautiful. It is so appropriate for this cold weather that it's ridiculous. Personally, what I get from it is like this sweet, smoky, incense-y, kind of dried fruit resinous combination that is just fucking, oh, from paper. It has a little bit of a cola-esque note, kind of like a Coca-Cola, freshly open fresh bottle of coke not cocaine coca-cola yeah sweet dried fruit resiny incense there's a like a bit at least on skin like orisy or powdery let me just spray my skin right now let me let it air out a little bit it's like beautiful dehydrated fruit sweet not overly candied but just that right amount of sweetness again resinous woody powdery yeah i still get a little bit of a cola-esque vibe on my skin and that's pretty much it but it's it's so much more than just the simplicity of the note breakdown i just gave you it evokes this beauty and this softness and this creativity about it that it's just i can see the artistic and the artisanal flow about it it's layered it feels like it's properly layered it's like a perfectly set up pastry dish with the phyllo dough is just it's a beautiful fragrance, absolutely beautiful. Makes me curious to smell more fragrances from these, uh, from this Guerlain line. And one of the things that I like about it, and I actually haven't let wifey smell this yet, is that when it fully dries down on my skin, it has a little bit, to me, of a churky vibe. So I'd be very interested to know what she thinks of this fragrance once I let her smell it. Cause when she finds out the price tag, <laughs> I'm gonna be castrated like a motherfucker. Oh, I just got a fucking just whiff of vanilla. Hmm. Talk about wrapping it up and just smell vanilla. Okay, so yeah, beautifully sweet, incense -y, powdery. There's possible vanillic note in there. There's that Coca-Cola essence, dried fruit resinous, fucking just cold weather masterpiece. I love this fragrance. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's definitely a ball spray, excuse me. Now you might wanna sample this shit. I'm not gonna say go out and buy and buy it, but I'm gonna tell you this much, this shit is litty. If you got any other recommendations of this gold long line that I should get my nose on, please feel free to drop it in the comment. Hopefully I can get it for a deal. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? It's the biggest in the game, son. Trying the fancy shit, cause I'm bougie like that. Allegedly. Smooches.